please welcome Billy Zane. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate you on, on this film, but there's a downside to this thing. This is going to be, if it's not yet, the biggest grossing film of all time. Right? Uh, apparently. Yeah, like in what? another two weeks, it's it'll insane. have made eight gillion dollars, which is the most money that... A gillion's a number. A, is it? Yeah, you'll see. And, um... <laughs> I'm just babbling. But I was thinking, whenever uh, there's another movie like that, say a Jurassic Park or something like that, it means sequel. And there's no sequel here. This is true. <laughs> Are you depressed about this? I am, is there actually, any way that there could be? I mean, I don't know. There could be a prequel. A prequel? In, in the building of the ships, you know. <laughs> no. Critics agree. It's riveting. A terrible movie. <laughs> wow, that ship's coming along, you know. <laughs> this critic enjoyed the part where they installed 6,000 toilets, you know. I don't know. I, I, I just think it would be a little frustrating, but still, I mean, did you, you have no idea that the movie would, would, everyone was saying it cost $200 million. Well, it won't make the money back. It might do okay, but they're saying it's, it's going to make tons of money. It's a phenomenon. I, it, it's gone beyond um, certainly anyone's wildest dreams. Uh, right. it's, it's, it's crossed into um, well, beyond entertainment, I think there's something going... There's a unilateral catharsis happening. Oh, uh, God, what the hell was that? I don't know, but it's important. If there's a unilar <laughs> unilateral catharsis, I better get a CAT scan right now. Uh, no, it's true. It's, there's, there's, you know, you're, you're having... Well, it is. This is going to be a legendary film. I'm, I'm curious, you were there. Did you, did you cop anything from the set? Did you take anything? Did you... Did you oh, yeah, you know. Like a little souvenir? A big souvenir, actually. Quite a, quite a, a couple of deck chairs floated uh, into the trunk of my car for some reason. I have no idea how that happened. How do you get off the lot? I mean, I could see, like, stealing a mug and like, putting it in your... How do you get past security holding two deck chairs? <laughs> Uh, you know, you, you grease the right people and, uh, you know... <laughs> and anything know. can anything happen. Anything can happen, especially are, are you... in Mexico, I guess. Okay. Uh, oh! the... well, well... No, no, it was a complete accident. Uh, wasn't it? Yes. Um, <laughs> it sure felt like one. This, this, this movie is, is so popular, and you're a big part of this film, I would think that this is going to affect your personal life. Like, the tabloids would be coming after you, they'd be, you know... Uh, th I, I, that's true. I've... I've it... I've now become the target of a, of a tabloid tale, and it's, uh, it's very damaging. It's, uh, what, was the, what was the story? Vanity. Go figure. I'm gr grooming. I've, I've, been, I've been attacked for unilateral catharsis. What do you mean? I've, uh, what was the story, plucking actually? Plucking my eyebrows. I, you know, it's a strange Do thing. you pluck your eyebrows? I do. I have to confess. It's, I'm Greek, so if I didn't, I would be like Lon Chaney Jr. here. So <laughs> I'd have, you know... Your brow would I'd come together. Brow, yeah, you know, right. kind of like the Frida Carlo uh, special. How did that make it into a tabloid story? I don't story? know, but it could be worse, you know. It's like I, I could have been, like, been stealing Maseratis on crack, but, you know, whatever. You know, I'll settle for, like, you know, shaving. That would get most people behind you, I think. I, you I, know? I, reverse, 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 like, he not? had the presence of mind on crack to steal a Maserati. <laughs> you know? That's hard to do. Uh, but it's, no, it is. It's it's also it's pretty interesting. It is kind of moving kind of fast. The recognition level is increasing. As a uh, uh, was uh, in the, the, the far reaches of the French West Indies, and uh, this four F uh, uh, World War II veteran came up to me and he said, "You're Zane Gray, aren't you?" And I was like, "Yeah." And you're Charles Dickens, right? No, no, no. <laughs> just no, no, I knew just it. go with it at it's, that point. Don't ever uh, don't ever worry if they. You know, a lot of people think I'm Ralph Mao from Happy Days, and really? I just let them. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, that's me. It all works. You get Poxy? I get, no, I get Val Kilmer. <laughs> <laughs> and he is. It's hard for you, Val, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Uh, usually when I go to a nightclub or something, it's, I'm not Val Kilmer. <laughs> right off the bat. You just call let's ahead. Get it Look, just settle it. Uh, you just took a vacation, I understand. You just got back. What, was this a nice time? Um, this was, it was intended to be a, a you know, romantic uh, retreat over Valentine's Day. Uh, my friend, uh, his girlfriend, my girlfriend and I, and uh, within 
days just before we left, we, we both broke up. I think it's something, uh, I don't know, it's in the stars, so... Kind of you broke up just before Valentine's uh, how's Day? That? It's pretty and weird. you have tickets for a big trip. Well, exa well, that good point, you know. You have tickets for a big trip. Well, exa well that good point, you know. I kind of uh, looked at my buddy and I said, well, let's go, man. We're heading down. So uh, it we tried to reroute all of the uh, kind of romantic preparation into a, kind of an outward bound adventure of scuba diving and rock climbing and snorkeling. And so you tried to turn the romantic trip into uh, a buddy into bonding trip. Male James Bonding and. Excuse me, in the water. I was with the mic. And, um, it... <laughs> excuse me. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't really get, uh, hold of, uh, everyone and, uh, to reroute it. It, uh, it, there was a gentleman who came up and, you know, offered the romantic cocktail at sunset on Valentine's Day. Which was, you know, it's like, how you doing, buddy? Uh, <laughs> happy, happy, happy Valentine's Day, pal. Oh, no, really, hey, uh, listen. Uh, you're awesome. Yeah. yeah have never changed. Say, uh, buddy, have you been plucking those all? Yeah, I have. <laughs> keep, keep it down, would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. They look good, though. Thanks. <laughs> Just in the middle. Like, yeah, that's nothing to be ashamed of, plucking your eyebrows. Oh, no, it could be worse. I'm not saying you should be ashamed. You pluck your eyebrows? Uh, no, I don't have... I'm, like, one of the most hairless men from the neck down. <laughs> I mean, that, Let's that stop brows. talking about oh. it right there. I don't want to go there. You know what my favorite thing about this segment is that at the bottom of this little card, it says, Plug Titanic. Like, I have to, at the end, say, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you're in a film, it's called Titanic. Set up the clip for us, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's about thing a big boat, and I think everybody's quite aware of it, but, um, well, I hope things improve for you a bit. You know, I'm sure, you know, you'll meet someone else, and then another vacation, and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Your life may be doomed, I just don't know. Yeah, we'll just find out. All right, Billy, thank you thank very much you, for coming honey. on. Uh, continued Pleasure. success, Billy Zane. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Hepcat. Unilateral catharsis.